Hello and welcome to a new episode of Diving into Sidecar Analytics. In this episode, we are going to look at how to categorize and segment our anonymous visitors based on their interest. We are going to use content profiling for this. And we are going to identify individual contacts using identifiers. Okay, let's get started. Uh, we have a demo, couple of demo pages here with different animals. And I want to track uh, how interested are my visitors in these individual animals or groups of animals. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use content profiling and I can do this in marketing control panel. It's already open here. Notice there is an item here, a profiles node, and there are already a few profiles uh, predefined. We are going to create a new one. Let's call this animals. Okay, just like with goals, we will have to uh, deploy these profiles before we can use them. Okay, let's open this up. A profile contains of three types of items. One are the profile keys. I'm just going to show that in a moment. I call these also call these the dimensions. Uh, we got profile cards and pattern cards. Let's just create them and then see what they do. Okay, let's say elephants. There we go. Three types of animals. Good. Now on these keys we have to configure what's the minimum value and what's the maximum. So here to 10 is what I'm going to go for. Good. Now let's go to profile cards and insert a profile. So profile cards are used to assign value to items. It might seem a bit abstract right now, but I'm going to show you how it works. I usually like to create profile cards, just one for each uh, key. And I do urge you to not to use too many keys. It's very tempting, but it's going to be very hard to understand the data afterwards. So try to keep things simple. There we go. Let's go to elephants. Now, I can add descriptions, uh, details, images, everything here. I'm not going to do that. Uh, there's plenty of documentation on how to do this in all detail. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to assign a value of one. Keep things simple. I have kangaroos. So kangaroos is going to have value one. I have zebras. And they are going to have the value one. Perfect. So. The pattern cards, let's leave them for the moment. Now let's deploy this profile. Let's go. Now back to content editor. Here we go. So now on each page in Sitecore, I can assign these scores. And here are my different uh, profiles. And I have my animals profile right here. And this is the elephants page, so I can use my elephants profile card. So that's what profile cards are for, to just select and assign values to pages. Go to kangaroo, kangaroo, to zebras. That's fine. As users browse through the page now, they are actively earning points. We can have a look at that afterwards. But now I have to have a way of uh, categorizing these uh, users based on their interest. And that's where I use pattern cards. So let's go back to marketing control panel, back to our profile. And let's create a pattern card. And you're very flexible with this approach. I can now, for instance, say, are my users interested in 
African animals. And if so, they are probably interested in zebras and elephants, but not in kangaroos. Let's give this uh, an image. Let's take the zebra. Now let's create another pattern card and call it Australian animals. Here we go and save. Good. Now I forgot something very important. I have to assign a value here in order for the patterns to match. Okay, let's go to experience editor and to debug these sorts of uh, content profiling scores, you can use explore mode right here. And once explore mode has loaded, you have these sliders on the side where you can gain more information. So let's go to the zebras page and I can now see, okay, I've been profiled. I have visited the zebras page. You got me, I've been testing before. I've visited elephants and kangaroos too. So the visitor matches the pattern called African animals. Let's go to kangaroos now and refresh just once more. Now I have the most visits with kangaroos and the pattern card Australian animals is now matched. So this way we can actually create profiles from our visitors interests. Now let's try this out in the wild. I'm going to create a new incognito window. And now I've visited the kangaroo page. Uh, I've created a, a little helper tool. I put it on GitHub. It's called XConnect Helper. Let's open that up. And this is going to show you all the information that has been collected on you and your profile. Um, sorry, it's not a very neat user interface, but it helps. It gets the job done. So what I can do now here on this interface, I can see uh, pattern Australian animals has been matched. Kangaroos has one point. So as I browse through this page, elephants, zebras, let's refresh. Yes, so I have African animals now because I have two points in this category, these categories uh, and so forth. So let me flush the session. Uh, you can also do that using XConnect helper. So just scroll down, hit flush current session. And let's go back to experience analytics. And now under audience, we will have a lot of data showing up already countries and here I have my pattern matches I've been testing before so ignore these but I can see okay African animals has been matched let's have a look at the pattern matches report I find this one of the most important reports you can see your segments how many of them are visiting you can see bounce rates and you can see conversion rates so you can see how many engagement points are these different segments earning. This is very valuable input. Uh, as you come to segment your audience, you can see which part of the audience is generating more value and which one is generating less. So this is a very valuable insight you can gain by creating these content profiles. Another good thing you can do with content profiles is personalization, but we are not going to go into that in this episode. Next thing we want to do is we want to actually identify single individuals. So to do that, we need to code. Uh, let's have a look at the page. Okay, so typically to identify users, you would uh, use a form input and that would be typically logging in or registering a user. Another typical use case is signing up for a newsletter or any type of inquiries, the sales funnel, uh, all these uh, forms 
inputs you can use to uh, identify users. So let's have a look at a bit of code. It is quite simple. Move this all away. All we need is basically one single line of code to identify. We use drag current session identify as. We have an identification source and an ID. So identification source will be, for instance, email, and the actual ID will be the actual email. Uh, that sets the identifier on the current contact, and every time I identify this contact in code, his contact is loaded from XDB, and uh, all data from it is loaded. So if, for instance, a user logs in on the desktop using his email, and then later on logs in the mobile phone also using the email, uh, on both places they are going to load the same data from XDB, and both sessions on mobile and on desktop are going to be tracked into the same contact. Okay, another thing I usually do is when logging in and when updating contact details, I set the contact facets, the basic out of the box facets. Uh, we have personal info and emails. So I usually set first name, last name, and set a default email if I have this data available. Um, let's have a look how it looks when I do identify a user. Let's go back to an incognito session. Uh, let's go generate some value, generate some clicks, uh, get some points. So, uh, using this XConnect helper for testing out this uh, identification, you can also uh, set an identifier here. I'm going to set just a test identifier. It has to be unique. Uh, just for testing purposes, this is fine. Usually you would use an email or a phone number, anything that's unique. Okay, the contact has been identified, and let's set some user. So let's set this contact data and flush the current session. And now go on back to our psycho control panel. And now we are going to have a look at this application called Experience Profile. Here we can see four profiles that I have previously created, including our Animal Hunter. Let's have a look at him. Okay, so this is very interesting information we have here. So this is all the information we have on this single contact. As soon as he has been identified, he is visible on the Experience Profile and we can dive into the details. We can see he matched pattern African animals. That's already uh, very interesting. We can go into more detail and have a look. Oh, he also matched uh, in other categories, which is actually quite balanced out. Uh, we can have a look at activity, so I can see uh, the user downloaded some documents. They were page events. There must have been some sort of error, personalization. Uh, I can actually dive into the single sessions and have a look what has been done here. It's very elaborate what you can do here. Uh, so this way we actually gain the maximum amount of insight over single individuals. And all this information we can use afterwards to create personalized experiences. So that's everything for today's episode. Thank you for watching.